Invoice number V7952. Today is July 27th, 2023. We are video inspecting the living room fireplace. It is a 7 by 11 flue. And we are proceeding down with video inspection now. There is no cap currently installed on top of this flue. As you can see, hold on. Rotate it. You do have a crack. Yeah. Right in the flue, that's the first course of flue tile. It's going to tend to get weathered a little bit more. But Charles is going to proceed down now. Let's see what we got. See how that crack comes all the way down now. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Focus on it a little bit better. Give it a go up a little bit and spin it. Hold it. So we got a gap right there. See the see like kind of it's kind of casting a shadow. Just yeah. to focus here. So you kind of got a pretty big void right here. Mm -hmm. So how this is built is you'll have your terracotta, which is the interior lining. Then what they do is they'll put cement and then their next course of terracotta. Almost like they're building like a big sandwich basically. Mm -hmm. And the idea of having this cement in between there is to make an airtight structure. Um, you don't want any gaps, you don't want any holes because what that happens at that point is heat, spark, flame, or the byproduct known as creosote can actually migrate through those gaps. Mm -hmm. Alright, so proceed down. You can see how big, that was a pretty big void. Oh, go back. And right there, hold it. You can see you got a big crack right there. Yeah. Let me see if I can adjust the foot right there. Hold it. Right there, you got a crack all the way down. Mm -hmm. Keep it down nice and slow. And then we'll try to stay on it. Yep, the crack is following all that crack down. We start to lose the crack now. It was further up. All right, keep going. Right, oh, hold it up. You got a crack is back right there. Right there. Give it a good spin. Right there. Hold it. Back a little bit. A little bit more. Turn. Right there. Hold it. So you can see the crack. Mm -hmm. Right there. Now what happens with these cracks is the terracotta, they use terracotta because it has excellent expanding and contrasting properties. So it's getting hot, getting cold. So it's constant movement. So what happens with these cracks is as you have your fire going, the terracotta expands, mm -hmm. which means those cracks start to open up. And then as it cools, it retracts. But what the problem is, those cracks will never go all the way back. Right, so right. they'll start to open up further and th further throughout the course of time. Just a hair. That's a hole. Yep, and you can see how far in, how deep that hole is. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big hole. So that goes in. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, hot air is always going to migrate to its first point of exit. Right. So in theory, you could be putting heat into that unknown area. Now, the concerning issue with the part of something like that is this is what we call an interior chimney. Mm -hmm. So the home is actually built around the chimney right. which is you know it's critical in the matter of you want to make sure it's everything is airtight right no gaps no yeah, holes because if there's a smaller hole somewhere within this structure it could potentially start to migrate to an unknown area so again you know they it's you know what this just wasn't built you know with the best uh, craftsmanship a lot of uh, masons, we see this on brand new construction homes, doesn't make it right, but it all comes down to the, the independent contractor that built the chimney. Mm -hmm. Yep, got a stagger. And we are approximately 10 feet down. Hold on, I just want to rotate it. Oh, and you can see again, right there. You got a pretty large gap right in here too mm -hmm. so you're supposed to have cement but there is none all the way you can see how deep that goes yeah so that's a pretty deep guy right there down a little bit 
Okay. It's 10 feet. Oh, go back up. Down. And you can see. See where the cement was. And you can see where the cement is missing. Right in there. So it's just an open void at that point. Okay, keep going down. See how that's got all cement in it? That's where it's supposed to be. there. So you can see you got another crack mm -hmm. right there. smoke chamber and that's basically there's like a funnel <coughs> just like this and what it's designed to do is funnel all the heat smoke spark and flame into the actual terracotta which is that's your terracotta right there right. so that what we're looking at is your flue and then down here we see all the bricks that's your smoke chamber and the smoke chamber's got a lot of gaps there's exposed brick a pretty large gap right there as well let's see if I can find it articulate this camera a little better here. Let's see all that exposed brick. is 20 feet tall in height and the smoke chamber is another five feet tall straight shot on the flu and that concludes the video inspection flu is again 20 feet smoke chamber is five feet defects have been observed